insane. <laughs> Wait, You're are stuck, you stuck on the, the lamp. That's All right. great. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, maybe <laughs> is two jump pads too many? I don't know. You just jettison into the okay. lamp. I feel like I just went like up against the ceiling right. tiles. Let's like, just try one because I, I feel like yeah, you went like so far up that you got stuck on a a light. Fucking lamp. Get out of here, ghost! <laughs> Fuck yourself! Leave my ghost! Oh, don't attack him, you'll get mad. Oh. What's he gonna do? Smokers cough at me? Alright, let's see. Alright, Alright, here we go! Oh, not high enough. Okay. I so. Think it's just like. I think that lamp is just. <laughs> I think what, it, what the problem was. It's like right in the way, you know what I mean? Like, look at the trajectory. It's like right there. Okay, well. I want to try. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Jump out for a second. Yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get destroyed, by the way. Yeah. God bless each and every one of us. Okay. I that was a Leah, you okay? She's got several broken bones and Sit here for a second. Here, you know what? Actually, I'm just gonna. Where is it? Right here. <laughs> All right, let's hit the lamp. I think. Fucking lamp! Oh, I was so close. No, oh, it was close. Yeah, that lamp though. Alright, well, we tried. If we can get a yeah, better yeah, spot yeah. to jump, like if we make a platform up there, we could totally jump up there, though. Yeah, we just need to, like, get up. Both of those windows have a light right in front of them, which is the biggest problem. Uh, did you grab... Hang on, I'm gonna Can these pad. stack on top of each other at all? Did you grab both the jump pads? Yeah, I did. Now if I have another one, it just gets even steeper, okay. Well, you're not gonna be able to drive up that, I just wanted to be able to get up here right now. But what if I tried to? If we had more and made it wider, probably. But that's all the the bridges I had. Also, hang on. Wait, how do you guys get these? Do you make them or do you find them? What? The bridges. Made them. Well, we can make more. It's just I don't have any more on me right now. It's so thin, though. What are you thinking? Thinking. I wish I had a certification course to tell me no. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. All right. Hang on. If we had a double wide, you could totally could. Yeah, I'm just losing tire traction here. I mean, we could just walk up and down and deposit stuff right now. Yeah, it's gonna be the best. Yeah, now it's. 
That was a little sad. Hang on. It's beeping at us. Bastard. 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 Look at him go. Well, I know that the protection area doesn't go very, like, very far down either. Um, you know what? Maybe we'll just like. I mean, there's a plug right here. You could put the main crafting like kind of in the middle-ish of both of those spots. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm thinking like like right here, room. you could put a crafting table like right here, and it would go into this big room and then cover. Well, I'm thinking we could make our main, we could make our main crafting room, um, like these labs over here. Just yeah. Just, like all the yeah, so we could like we could like break down all these desks and all these computers and just like empty out this room and then make this our crafting room. Yeah, because yeah, we could also get these lockers too. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Let's. I'm just gonna empty my pockets and then we can break down that room before we really start. I got a bunch of crafting tables, I'm just gonna start putting them down or out down all over the place. <laughs> um let's put like I don't know where you want all this stuff. I'm just going to start putting some of this stuff down.
Let's see, I got a charging station. Actually, I might put I might put the industrial battery over there just to keep that one keep the crafting station powered if we upgrade it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I got a shit. Making bears. Making bears. Put that somewhere better in a second, but I'm just like trying to get this all all set up here. Mm -hmm. Where do I want my kitchen to be? I don't know. Anywhere. It should be. I'm only seeing you guys figure out ovens. Probably gonna put another uh, crafting table over here. mess you made. I didn't make this mess! I need to put away my cramp. So I can pick up more cramp. I hear you. Where are you? Where are you?
try and kill that poor little creature? What are you thinking? Uh, just to figure out a quick and dirty way to light this place, I'm thinking. Quick and dirty. Yeah. Trying to keep things kind of. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as like visually things are. Defined. I mean, I got paper, scrap, and glass, which is like really junk shit items. Then yeah. office supplies, keyboards, pens. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is that's like you know some kind of defense walls down here just to slow down, give us yeah. time. Like this room up here still is marked as ours now, but. Well, the protection of this, uh, the protection of this little, uh, thing over here protects the, uh, area on the other side of this vent, too, and unless things can learn to crawl through vents, I think that this is pretty well the only way things are going to come from this way. Yeah, is which is the robot. Yes, yeah, so we might want to, we might want to do what we did with, we'll put, like, a test Yeah, we'll have, we'll have stuff set up to zap him. He does, uh, he does patrol up here, though, at night time, so I think, just for the time being, we are gonna wanna, like, jump on him the second he spawns, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, we can probably put wood in the same thing as metal for the time being. Wood in the same thing as metal? Yeah. Alright, I'll just... Wood in there. Is he attacking? Oh, must be stuff down below. Yeah. Robot's gonna be getting up, so we're probably gonna want to get down there and jump on his ass before we hit until we have like proper, uh, proper defenses. Yeah. Get my zap gun ready. He's back in our ship. We gotta go right. All right I got my my zap gun. So he has roughly double the health of a. Uh, Security bot. Mm-hmm. Roughly. Right. I don't...
Oh, lucky me. Hey, here's your stapler back. Wow, you're really raising the bar. Alright, I got a stapler. I got a couple more crafting tables, but I feel like it's like stretching much further beyond this point. It's gonna be like kind of hard to maintain. Until we're still, like, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying like we don't have to have a batteries on every crafting table we put down, but like if we have just some spots we feel like maybe it'll help our vent during the day spawns respawning. Yeah. So I I put a basic I put a basic battery um for the uh, each of the crafting tables. And I'm gonna put one down here for when we have a plug board ready to go for the uh, uh, repair and salvage station. Okay. Uh, and I think that that'll be pretty, pretty well good. Um, I have one more battery here. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that next to your stove. Um. Hey, I need food. All right. Well, me too, buddy. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. This guy walk around, crawling around, saying he needs food. Full of soup. Nay is beating the guy up. No. Nope. I, I was just gonna say, as a cheap source of uh, good-looking lighting, I could also run through the train again, and I feel like stuff might get more, might get more uh, lamps there respawning. He killed the guy. That's okay. I didn't see it. Why are you a tattle on me? <laughs> I saw it. It was bad. Oh, he's tattling on me. <laughs> Out of here. Get out of here. Hmm, oh. where should put electronic? Well, it's electronic, so I'll put no electronics with there. Want to recharge your zap gun? Yeah, I'll recharge it. We're definitely gonna need a plug board over here. And there's probably a plug strip over on the crafting room. Oh. Okay, dokey. Alright. I just wanna bust up all these computers and everything here for resources. Yeah, I mean, we could always put decorations there or whatever we want yeah. instead. Those screens don't look as old as the other one. They have liquid crystal in them.
all got larva to feed. We all got larva to feed. Covers here for storage as well. I know. Figure open up all the doors and that way you can visually see the ones that you're using and you're, if you're using the kitchen. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna put... I'm gonna try to put, like, stuff by the sink just to help it stand out. I'm gonna put, like, peas in there, salt in there, which all I found that would be interesting there. Um, Tubes I'll put in this first aid and... Plastic. I believe I need to uh, defecate. I need to poopy. Need to poop. I feel like, okay, we can probably do a better place with this toilet than right here. This. Right over here? Oh, uh, yeah, well, you can put it next to this workshop because, like, a little privacy over here, you know? It's yeah, next to your bed, but... Yeah, well, I'm trying to figure out where we want to put our beds. Like, do we want to put them in the main area, or what do we want to do? I don't know, we'll find out. Definitely make this a bathroom. I'm just like... Spiders. Yeah, I couldn't actually. I had to cover my. Um, I had to kind of cover the screen when I posted that just now. <laughs> but you can't see their eyes, so I don't know what you're so scared. Oh, about. I didn't. Oh, I didn't actually. Look, I just didn't even bother trying to see if I could or not. You're only scared of spiders the, because of the eyes. Yeah. Oh, I didn't actually check the the image out. I didn't know what it was going to post like. I thought it was gonna post like giant spider face. I have absolutely no did you look at this?
Uh, the, uh, the group. Spiders and bats causing significant psychological distress. I just shouldn't laugh. Strip. That's for the crafting room. Okay. Now. Put the. I'm trying to think which way it goes. Connect that. Right, that there. Okay. So that's this room. have like a couple minutes every morning where like we don't have power but that's that's okay um all right plug is right there we have workstation one two three i'm gonna see if i can improve the the ramp
You broke your legs. They're fine. Fine, right? They're fine, don't worry about them. having an interesting design issue, so I can't stick the plugs to the ceiling here for no oh. reason. Which means I'm trying to figure out a way to not have, like, cables being super ripped. I could just put them on the ground. You could, yeah. It's like, it's just... You know. That is bizarre that you couldn't... Yeah, I don't know. That looks fine. Yep. Could you attach them to the lights? <laughs> um. It looks so sad. Yep. It's showing up red though. Hmm. Wait, why are the lights? Not aligned with the ceiling pattern. I saw that. That's bugging me too. It's fine. <laughs> All right. So I did that. It's like there's no hitbox or anything, but like. Yeah. It just means it's just like you know. I have some cables on the floor. That's okay. So, all right. This first plug is going to go down to a battery and a switch for this guy. This one will collect to, uh, connect to a battery and a switch for this guy. Uh, this is already connected to the charging station over here, but I don't know. Do you want to keep the charging station here? Or? I, I just put it there for now. I don't know where to, if you want it somewhere else. That's a better idea. It. Oh, right yeah, on this table. Oh. Yeah, right like that. Okay. And I'm just trying to think how I want to lay this out. Bear with me. My hero. Where is he? Hello. I see you. Get out of here. That thing again? Yeah. yeah Get out of here! Hurry up! Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you. Alright. Grab that. Does he ever actually attack you guys? Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you came by bleeding that time. Yeah. see about making more things for this bridge. I've seen a few more things and then do we to load up for anything on the forklift? Um I don't know. I feel like uh back at the main base if you can get make like a more robust battery that would probably be ideal for the um upgrading the crafting table in the uh crafting area.
I still have a jump pad. Good. <gasps> oh. I'll have to go recall the forklift. I got out of it in, the, in this tunnel thinking I uh, had to check my inventory and oh, it's gone. I'm sorry. That's alright. Hopefully they fix that because that's kind of just silly. Back at base, gonna grab some things. Would you say? Um, I would say we could use two basic batteries, three basic batteries actually, two switches, uh, a bigger battery for expandability in the crafting room, um, furniture, chests, lights, lights. Those would be the big ones I think right now for this trip. Alright, well we can't make anything than regular makeshift ones for now. Um, the other ones are costing materials we don't have any more of. We need staplers, we need power cells for the big, big, big ones. So. I was gonna say, even if we got some little batteries, and um, like three little batteries, and two switches, and then any lights that we could spare from the house. You know what, actually, forget about the lights. Um, Oh, while you're doing that, I just dropped off a bunch of stuff. I'm going to... I'm going to run through the train area real quick. I can see if the light's there. I've respawned. And just grab 
a handful of those. Alright. We also really gotta find where that tram is for the uh, train station down there. I feel like it's gotta be somewhere nearby. Hmm. central section of the bridge leading out of the house is not there. Well, I have several ways down. There's rope, too. Oh, I can't see it. Let's try with the uh, the ramp over here. It doesn't quite go all the way to the bottom. <laughs> doesn't the vehicle doesn't drive up it? <laughs> no. Oh. I think you still have my bounce. I still have your bounce pad. Yeah. How do I get to the secretary?
Nay, it's pretty insane how quickly they get a hold of your phone number. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, I found a way to kind of finagle at least the golf cart up the side of the synchrotron, or synchrotron, or whatever, whatever it's called. It's a little fussy, but you can do it. Alright, well, I brought you the forklift. You can take it. I'll just take a few things out of it. So we should... I don't know if it's... I made some some lanterns. Lanterns? Because they were so bright. Yeah. I'm uh. I'm just gonna real quickly. I'm gonna go uh, run over to the um the uh the freight train and run through it and see if I get some lights. Okay. Uh, and then I'm thinking maybe when, we, when I get back, uh, why don't we go check out that level three lock in the uh, containment zone then? Okay. Yeah, we can do that. So how you had it longer than already I'm getting like Oh yeah, give us your social so we can give you this job. That doesn't make any sense. Well That's how it works. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like I got a text message about um job and I, like as a side or so whatever thing. And like it says you can make like five thousand like a week and work one hour a day all we need is your social security number <laughs> right that's all they need because that's what they're doing that's their job is to do what they <laughs> scam you and sit there for <laughs> one hour a week and scam people all right it's dark Spooked. Is there no way to make that shorter? All oh. Preparations will be so you're gonna seven. redo it. I'll try. It's kind of hard to... Recess completed. So I need to move this back just a little bit. Kind of hard to see in the darkness. No! <laughs> Tell me that. I'm trying to figure out how to get the angle right. So let's see. So I need to, I need to be facing this way more when I'm placing the ramp.
hard to see it's dark out here. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could, like, find a way to set it while you're looking up there. Um, or there's some kind of an align tool. Dr. Derek Mance reporting, Research Director, Gate Cascade Research Facility. Though I struggle to accept the implications, Dr. Derek Mance. the data gives me no choice. The train's momentum is tied inextricably to the atomic attractions of the region it appears to be passing through indefinitely. If it were to stop, the limit of the ensuing chaos is at best uncertain, at worst, immense. I'll be drafting up containment procedures in the morning. I got some 
Ooh, lights and furniture. So difficult. Let's just try move it closer. It won't let you set the incline from up there, huh? No. I can just walk up it. I wonder if vehicles would be able to. Okay. I mean, it's not terrible. I'm not falling through. I can walk up it without jumping. No, all I have to do is shift the other one over a little bit. Right now, I'm just trying to see. Can I put? I can't put this any lower, right? Oh, I can. But how I did that? I want to go over here. Where do you want to go? Nowhere! I'm just trying to figure out the stupid thing.
something that creates the... This one. I got some more um, axle grease and car battery chargers too in the uh, train wheel. Alright. Okay, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Saw it. I saw the sign. Yeah, you can drive it all the way up. You shouldn't fall through even when you walk up it by yourself. You're not going to be able to drive through the window. There's no way. But it's just for quick depositing cargo. I'm, to, I'm not trying to drive it through the window. I'm trying to back it up. Oh, you can't back it up? No, it's stuck here good. Hang on, hang on. Give, 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 push. You going to push me? Can you push when I'm in it or no? There we go. There we go. Okay. I was gonna say, you know what you should do is you should, um, rather than having the jump pad, rather than having the jump pad down there, you could put like a little walkway around the side, so that way if it gets stuck, you can like jump out and walk walk through here. You know what I mean? Like, it's like... Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. But. Um, okay. Okay. I I see what you're saying. I see what you're putting down. I smell the stink that you're stinking. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Uh, I'm getting a little hungry, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, is it my job to cook for you? Yeah. I mean, you are the chef. Oh. I am, aren't I? I don't know if we have water for cooking pasta. Mm. Your friend's back. Yeah, you can just have the soup. I made so several bowls of soup at once. Like cups. Okay. Mm. Alright. He's gone. Okay. Well, I was gonna say, I, um... I have so I unfortunately have to stop here in about an hour's time and do a bit of cleaning around the house to get ready for something. Okay. Um, but, I was gonna say, in that hour, we can get some, get some progress done. Maybe, like, go open up that security door over in containment and. You know? Yeah. Now 
works. A little sketchy, but you know. Good enough for raiders. <laughs> It'll work. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Fall in between. Alright. Alright, well, I'll just drop some of this shit away. Some of this shit! Take my hazmat, drop the battery. I should probably take care of my needs, fill them up. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Get up there now. I'm just gonna take my doctor go go juice. Time to Payment cells. Word out. One five five. I may soon need the facilities. I gotta drop a deuce too. What is that? Oh! Uh, ninety nine. It's an SCP thing. Antique shotgun. Well, let's read what it says first. Yeah, zero nine nine. Storage device is a separate for the subject. Please let access ammunition. Always treat the subject as if it was loaded. Do not point it at anyone. Oil and clean it regularly. Test fire carefully wearing gear. When test firing IS, ensure no personnel are present within a 50 meter radius. <laughs> and no, no valuable or sensitive machinery, stores, equipment, weaponry, infrastructure, architecture, or structures to be present within a 30 degree arc extending. Is it just like a super overpowered shotgun? A break action double barrel shotgun for a rather old make. Always treat it as if it's loaded! <laughs> yeah, I get over here! Get the fuck away! Yeah. I don't have any no ammo in it, but I don't know. I just. Does, I don't, is it, can it randomly just like go off? I don't know. Ooh, I can unload the other shotgun. Alright, I'm standing behind you. We gotta, no, we gotta like, don't just shoot it. We gotta like, find a man to test it on. 
Don't shoot it at me. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to walk back. What is that? I don't know. That it looks like the outline of a snowman. And it's oh. Like cog and it's got like weird, creepy. Yeah, that's totally a snowman with the top hat on. Yeah. What is what is this? There's a blue cube in here. <laughs> Gravity dampener. Watch oh, it. Which one is this? Let me see. <laughs> Fifty two. Fifty two. Gravity damper. A gravitationally sensitive equipment, tem uh, temper temporarily dynamic system. Any staff are required to wear heavy impact protective clothing. All right. Dangling gravity cube. It's it's got a recipe. That's got to be a backpack. Yeah. Thingy. Probably. Huh. Okay. okay. Gravity of anyone holding it. They mean like holding it, holding it. So we're... you jump higher. You have way. You have a, you have moon jump. I have moon jump. When you hold this. You have moon jump. Hang on. Well, if you go off a jump pad, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's a good point. I mean, I have um, a jump pad if you want to test. Yeah, but you you fly away. Let's just figure out where we are. For, there's a thing. There's a part over there. There appears to be, like, a singular Oh, item yeah, and, like, everywhere. the super containment over there. Yeah, it's like the Magneto room, you know what I mean? Okay, that super containment looks awesome. It does. And this is covered by meat on the other side. Containment block curie. That post. <laughs> um... There's a ladder. But there's also a Dora okay. malfunctioning over here. Is there? Yeah. But there's multiple Derek dancing. Do not touch. <laughs> when people ask where we found IS 0172, I tell them the truth. It was recovered from a kebab restaurant in rural Turkey, where it was being used as a doorstop. The fact that it is, by a factor of tens, the oldest known manufactured object on Earth, forged from alloys not to be invented for another 1.7 oh. million years, was irrelevant to the owner. Who accepted in exchange 50 lira and a small rock. We are no All closer right. to identifying its creators. Pre-human artifact. This this will be the gravity cube. I have had to secure IS-52 personally, following the latest abuse of containment procedures by staff in C blocks. I understand fully well What's the action of jumping three times higher than normal or floating gently down from the third story of the mega lift. But the gravity cube is not a toy. While I admit to a slight skip as I carried it to its containment cell, it is a profound and unique disturbance in the space-time fabric of our universe. It's also quite glowy. <laughs> it's also quite I'm glowy. Gonna I'm gonna stick it on a bag. Alright, what happens if I press this? Inner wing. Oh. Uh oh. Well, I'm sure it's fine. What is that? Is that like a... I don't know. They're like oh, binoculars. We can make binoculars, can't we? We can. Can we so zoom in on that? We see? we'd probably be able to zoom in on that. Is that like a layout or something? Or I don't, I don't know. Oh. oh. There's something in there. Oh, I see it. What is that? It's like a face. The shadow creature. Is that what that was called? Yeah, we got a, a new journal update on the shadow creature. Conducted remotely. Entrance or access to containment unit is prohibited except by express consent of the gate access to executive council. Kind of unavoidable relocation or force majeure. I don't know what that is. Should need uh, should a need arise as it's just a containment be open on form. We can keep your staff present. Name of subject medically sealed. And just it's just a just scary scary little dude. Hello. Hello. I'll kill ya. 
no nibble on us. Try. Um. Well. Which way do we want to go? You want to see what's there instead of we, instead of going towards the big cell block first? Yeah, I think so. Let's let's go let's go check this way. This way feels understated. So there's a plug down here. Is this going to be just like a space to build a base? <laughs> it might be, but this is a hell of a space. No swimming, right? Yeah, it's just a bunch of open stuff. It's I mean, like you could try jumping in, but I it's probably a kill barrier. Probably. I'm going to say that's that's probably a kill barrier. Yeah. You know what? Let's 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 use hang on. Put that jump pad down. Where do you want it? Up over here? Okay. Like right here. I'm just gonna like. <laughs> oh! Okay. Alright, All right, that ain't bad. Get my zap gun back. Nah, it's alright. We poopy poopy ourselves. It's fine. Aim and block bears. I see what looks like sentry guns over there. Do you see that? Oh, yeah, I do. Right on the right. Assessment. Oh. This is Dr. Mance. Studying the tensor dynamics of our perforation system, there's one particular thing I've noticed. It seems that the distension of the continuum has an attractive effect, locally. Which is to say, left unguided, portals will ground their exits near other portals. If they weren't so unstable, I'd be tempted to suggest okay. this could be exploited as a way to travel rapidly around well, the facility. Well, um, jump well, pad across. I imagine what Dr. Yeah. Would think of that. We're up top as well, maybe. Oh, okay, there's yeah. Also, also, there's, there's also containment block bears. Alright, yeah, I mean, I don't have any more bridges, so I'd, well, I'd have to jump somewhere, essentially. Don't touch the goblet. Oh, I see the side of the snowman. I was looking for a button in here. <laughs> you release him. Interesting. Yo, this is an area. This is a, an area? I'm out of this area. <laughs> it's just like noise area. Ooh. My personal disinclination towards firearms in general leaves me largely underprepared to record anything of value surrounding 099. That's another one. I'm not what you might call a gun nut. I can tell you it's antique. That's for you. Go here. on about its material makeup and tell you how it functions on a chemical level. The answer is mundanely. This shotgun shows no anomalous properties when held or fired. But it certainly did at one point oh. in time. We tried different personnel, brought it back to its place of origin, and tried several types of ammunition. At present, it bruises your shoulder when you fire it. Testing is ongoing for now. <laughs> Right, it's just like a normal shotgun, but every now and then it just like farts out a blast like that could destroy a map. Dr. Pendleton and I had a frank exchange of views today. <laughs> I described IS-055 as a noxious weed and suggested that recent events in the reactors have borne this out. But she insisted that antiverse flowers had a beauty to them. I was not in the mood for a lesson in this thing. I want to see if I can find a toilet. Out that <laughs> so does a mushroom cloud. <laughs> One of these anti, what was that, anti universe flowers or whatever it was? An antiverse. Oh, antiverse. It's just like yeah. another universe. You have to ante up in that
I got a poo. We'll get in here and poo. Where? Oh, right here. C is blocked. You have to put the vacuum away. It doesn't work with the vacuum. That's so weird. I know. Also, I'm gonna head upstairs and see if there's a bed there real quick. Which was Oh yeah, you found uh, yeah. the cut. You know what, I might just like throw a bunch of the stuff that I found in these chests for later. spores. No, I just wearing my hazmat suit the whole time because don't matter. Oh. Well, there was other directions we could have went as well. <laughs> yeah, that's true. There's just, like a lot of different options. That wasn't this way. I'm yeah, it was down. Yeah, so we went that way. Let's go this way. You wanna go straight to that one? <laughs> There's a man in there. Thank the stars. All I wanted was a place to rest a few hours without getting eaten or shot or minced. But I accidentally locked myself in. Two PhDs, but you'd never know it. I'd very much prefer not to rot in here. So if you could help me out, I'd be extremely grateful. And I can help. I'm confident that I can get us through the vacuum chamber to the surface elevator. In fact, I'm sure of it. If you could just get this door open. Resetting the system in the control center should open these cells and reprogram the guns out there. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. And if I'm right, it should give us access to the rest of the containment block, too. You just have to get to the control center in, uh, one piece. Alright, let's see. Journal note. I can get us through the vacuum chamber. I'm sure of it. But you need to find a way to the control center and reset the security system. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just happened to lock himself in. Mm -hmm. Just happened to lock himself into the SCP containment chamber and wants to be released, huh? That's totally how that works. What is going on? That's like a mirror effect, but... It's just like, just our equipment. I mean, it always is in the mirrors, but it's just kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, let me see. Find a way across the chasm. 
without getting shot by the turrets. I mean, yeah. you got a jump pad. We, got, we do got a jump pad. Alright. It'll be the guinea pig. Oh! I would not have made that. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Alright. Well, jump over up top then. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. There we go. Chest we can't open. And another live fire zone. Uh, don't go that way. I feel like. Yeah. They'll shoot at you immediately if you're around that corner. Yeah, it's just another live fire zone as well. Yeah. Maybe there's a route I can open up like a shortcut on that side. Yeah. All right here. All right. Hold that cube and go for it, man. All right. Here, you want to do it? You're you're, you're the one who's recording. Here right, you go. What? <laughs> my head. Oh my god. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe, With I the cube? Know, maybe, I don't maybe, know. If uh, you just hit like here, if you, if you jump like right here. You're really quick though. I think you might be able to jump it with just your speed and a regular jump. You think so? I I don't know. Like you're with your bionic legs, you run pretty quick, and then you're in the air for quite a while. Oh, that was not as much clearance as I would have liked. Yep. Oh, there's a vent. Alright. Uh... I... There's... Brother, there is some noise coming from the game to watch Hell Volk. Well... Setting me in for one second. Zombies? zombies? Oh, oh yeah, I see him. I see here he comes. Yep. I have to help my friend. I don't think you're gonna make it, brother. <laughs> oh, grip with your toes. Oh. Can you? Oh. Can you jump over? <laughs> you did it. Congratulations. That was way too. You gripped with your toes. Super close. Oh, that's not what? scary. I kicked the door open into myself. I'm All glad right. I didn't waste a shell on that. Does you can cut him up. He get back up though. Yeah, I don't know. Let's cut him up then. He ain't getting back up now. All right, yeah, he ain't getting back up from that. All right, just. Be you got there. shotgun shells on you, by the way. I got yeah, I got some shotgun shells in. Here. I have that big shot. Thank you. You need to uh, sip or wash up. There's a thing. Now watch these these little cubicles. He was hiding. He was hiding right here. <laughs> Woo! Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Email terminal. Zombies. Well, <laughs> 12 staff on the A16 viral program. You're not to enter the research area unarmed. Whether you're undertaking virological study here at Cascade, working in A16, in A16, A16 yourself, or doing field research, it's unfortunate outbreak in A23. You must carry self-defense equipment at all times. 
184 is the final stage of the life cycle. It starts as 171, which uh, metamorphizes into the little hoppers. That then gestates into those hyper-elastic pupil pods I showed you. Or sleeps in them? I don't know yet. Anyway, then it emerges as 178, then grows into an adult, for lack of a better word. It just happens a lot faster than it does uh, in A2, as we're seeing. I get that, but even so, it doesn't seem, doesn't seem a little too perfect. I've been thinking about it as some really weird cellular architecture. Like the favorable, blah, 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 it's complicated. The Curie stairs. Hi, Stanley from Janitorial. Something is very wrong with the supply closet under the Curie stairwell. I can't explain it. Someone from Containment, go check it out, please. We never go in there. I'll take a look, but I'll get. The, I'll have to get some keys first. Stanley, when did this start? That was unbearable. Has anyone else noticed this? Come see me immediately. I'll need a full list of persons who have access to that room. There must be a side effect from a nearby IS. Should have been reported sooner. Mr. Ryan is on medical leave until further notice. Okay, purple dust. I've been uh, meaning to request a sample of dust, but wasn't sure. No need to obtain. Okay, microscope. It had the same reaction. Oh, weird. Okay. Something very wrong with the supply closet under the Curie stairwell. Hmm. So you guys are gonna stay out of there, right? I'm gonna go there. Then, then. <laughs> Well, here you go, Mr. Hacker. Good thing I made it over. Okay. Alright. Uh, what did it do? Uh, I think it opened up. I guess it opened up containment block Heimholtz. I think. Looks like it's good. I think for it. Yep. Oh, okay. thing will juice in there. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Should do a zombie game! Well, that's okay. Just line up the head shoots. Gotta be on one side. Oh. Jeez. Alright. Grab, grab your discs. Those are your discs, not mine. What the fuck is that? I ain't cutting these all up. <laughs> yeah. Let's just watch them. Alright. Watch the tunnel. Noted okay, well that... That seems, uh... That looks like, that looks like a portal to, a uh, zombie land. That might be what that is. There's a button. It's making noise. They're just walking through the portal! <laughs> oh! Well, we can't turn it off, probably. Oh. No. Yeah. Well, I don't see many other places to go. Well, let's just or... take a little look around a little more. I don't have much bullets other than some shotgun shells, so... Yeah, I might want to armor up. Update on IS-102. Human exposure to the phage has highly negative effects, transforming victims into hyper-aggressive, mindless predators. While it encourages breeding in its original hosts, human hosts seem only to consume one another. If there are useful applications of this phenomenon, I am slow to see them. Given Tenku two weeks to show productive results. Well, do you want to just run through it? Could. <laughs> There's also big chair. <laughs> big chair. There's also big bucket of blood. Oh, we're back here. Oh, wait. Dr. Mance, Cascade Facility. The Tub of Blood. The Tub of Blood. <laughs> Dramatic, I know, but this entity gives me, in scientific terms, the, the heebie-jeebies. Oh. And it's uniquely dangerous. We've locked it in a cell, and that seems to work well enough. It doesn't liquefy or slip through drains, as Tang feared. It 
it's solid enough and prefers to stay near its point of origin. We send cleaners through every morning to spray down the walls. IC-13 tends to touch everything in sight when it crawls out of its metallic cocoon. We found the tub, more of a metal trough in Halakapapa after reporting what a blood-covered uh. nighttime boogeyman. The gatekeepers performed a snatch-and-grab mission while it hibernated, though they claim it woke twice on the flight here. I've reviewed the footage. It's messy. I'm not sure we can ascertain its goal or where it goes when the tub refills. We've run tests on the blood to dismal right, results. Ammo. Zero genetic matches. But we'll keep giving it a stir, uh, figuratively speaking. To anyone considering study, investigation, or indeed any kind of interaction with the Red Chair, IS-018, I can advise only caution. Consider this piece of furniture a tool of assassination. No less for being so thoroughly arcane function. If you find yourself affected, we can do little to assist you. Hmm. Exercise okay. utmost care in its vicinity. No resting, no leaning, no sitting, reclining, or indeed any form of recumbence on or near this furnishing. It's also extremely damp. Perpetually. <laughs> Perpetually damp chair? Perpetually damp chair, or maybe it's like... Oh, no. Not good. <laughs> I'm looking at it here. Okay. All right, we got a shortcut. I'm gonna go get my jump pad back. Yeah, let's just get it. Unless you wanna go in the portal. <laughs> well, like, let's get the jump pad and go in the portal. Oh, also, wait, stairwell, storage room. I want my jump pad back, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I'll bet? I'll bet the storage room uh, under the uh, stairwell um... Oh, is he going to catch your guy? Yeah, he's yeah. <laughs> blocking me from getting my jump pad back. I got it. <laughs> Alright. Oh! Let's... Do you still have the gravity cube? Yeah. What's this? Oh! Does it... Oh! Well, we both got one. Alright. Alright. <laughs> we can go put like a cube on a cube on a thing and then like put it on our backpacks probably. So we don't have to hold it out, yeah. Yeah, we can just like jump around. Alright, go back and Rearm at our new base, see what we can do. I can probably make some saw blades there. Yeah, I have a lot of shotgun shells, so if, as long as you arm up, I got zap gun. Uh, shotgun. I got zap gun. Yeah, I don't know how how good zap gun is gonna be for like, for zombies. You should have jumped on the railing first. Yeah, probably. Oh, and this is water. We can totally get water out of these pools. Oh. Wait a second. I love it. What about the sign right here? You jump on the sign. I mean, yeah, you can do that if you want. I can. But I'm gonna do this. Yeah. All right. Alright, what do we need for saw blade? You need rebar. I don't think we have any rebar here. 